Okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And? What of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So, you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. Hey, mind throwing us in on the keystone before we arrive? Probably. But 20 years back, one of the more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum of his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool. Now, according to company records, the keystone was housed there. Wait a sec. I thought you said it was at the gold saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. For the threat, there was it. Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a photo drop. Closed as soon as it opened. But, somewhere between cutting the ribbon and boarding up the windows, the keystone vanished at the thin air. So it's not at the saucer? No way, eh? No, but I know a man who met. The former Fury. Do you? Hmm? How do you know that name? Let's just say. After the museum debacle, all the deal was devoted to only to be promoted again when the saucer took off. Made director in no time. Real riches to rags to riches story. All of which is why we're bound for the saucer. Hey, see, did I hear right? You used to work with Shinra? Still do, on occasion. The boys got their uses. That's gonna be a problem. You see, we don't take kind friends and country. And I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. The man who tries to lord his power over me is gonna wish he didn't. That's what's appealing about the skies. I'm all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. What do you think? Of course. Girl always knows just what to say. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> you mean me?
to burn off some energy? Come to Run Wild! Step right up, we've got the best selection in Costa Rica. Coast to Del Sol in style with our wheelies. their lives at sea, a war broke out between some pirates. I mean, how do you think they came up with Pirate's Rampage? It's based on a true story. How about it? Want to hear? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Gather round and hearken to my tale. Before steel birds soared through the skies and tracks wove across the land, wooden ships primary means of travel. One such ship was crewed not by men, but monsters, aliens, the high seas. From the fires of war, these pirates emerged victorious, leaving crimson waters in their way. The world's oceans now his sole dominion. The captain was declared the pirate king. As for the king's treasure, ere his passing, he took his most prized possession, quartered it, and sealed those pieces away, along with his four finest mates, to forever stand by. Whatever he hid, this map should point us to the locations in which its fragments rest. The spell he used to seal them away seems to have broken as well. For the pirate king's treasure is now ours to seek, four ferocious fiends yet stand in our way. Doubtless, we'll put up quite a fight. And I, for one, can't wait! You ready, Jet?
Jet.
just straight ahead. What? Got a problem? You lost or something? of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to it in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. Places crawling with them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Put up to look for Dio. Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, Cloud, you got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh huh. You see. No one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Stayed as welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. 
great time, and, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. I bought some protein. Did you see the Musclehead Coliseum will host an epic contest. This is our time, guys. Him. Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm, he doesn't he look quite right. <laughs> well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery. That the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. Take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo Land. Let's sit out. Training hard and getting those games. What's up, party people? What's up? Hey. It's a challenge from the dark. Give the people what they want. Take it in a piece. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was lamenting my lot in life when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone, right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great! I'll jog on ahead and tell the others they... Unfortunately, tickets are required for today's performance. Good day, and well met, most esteemed guest. 
Perchance you have points for me? I shall I eagerly await our next interaction. Our Captor King show is about to begin. I know, right? I even come to appreciate those unexpected moments when I received them. It's sold out. Same day tickets. Just yes, the square, and I'll get you there. Please line up here to wait. We know your scripts are good. Too bad our stage is too small for them. But the real problem is. Let's see. Let's see. to board the sky wheel. So this will be our... It's the magic with our special cat candy. Try all our enchanting flavors. Why not exchange some of your points and get a gift for that special someone? If you're looking to escape... Are you friends, ready to embark on the sky Hey, lovebirds. Where would you like to go, Kubo? Hold on, dear Kubo! We've arrived at your destination! Dance of blood, screams of pain! All that gore and more awaits you in tomorrow's gruesome match at Battle Square's Musclehead Coliseum! You'll be taking part in the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow.
Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Aerith sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, uh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is going to kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what the scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? 
It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> don't let her. Please. I won't. about what you said. I couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's, it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's gotta be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care. Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <sighs> Gotta find Elmira. Those off? No. Those pillow marks say different. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You got me. <laughs> anyway, wanna broaden your artistic horizons? Loveless is playing here. And I got us tickets. Sure. After that, we could ride the sky wheel. I'm down for that. Cool.
Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Garya. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Malfi was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain.
I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Fear not, Alfred. I've come for you. Rosa! How did you find me? I sensed you were in trouble. Twas the will of the goddess, perhaps. Shall she guide my place? <laughs> you know not who. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! was a most accomplished performance. Devotion to his comrades doubtless spurred him onward. Alas, for all his commitment, he is yet to prove himself a hero. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road, none can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet... All tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh.
a truly remarkable display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring hero's and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love. And so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. My love. Alfred. Ah, cease the charade! Love is not but an illusion! Ah! Goddess above, let my blade strike true! of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. Thank you, Alfred, for saving our world and everyone in it. You are a true hero. <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance till your frayed strings break, and you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? 
Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. Yeah. 
Wow, that was amazing. I can't wait to start bragging. I'm friends with a famous singer. Well, maybe next time you could take the stage. <laughs> Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, the night's still young, right? What say we check it out? Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Sky Wheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer. Yes, the square, sky. and I'll get you there. Hold on to your hat, Kubo. Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here goes! Save. <laughs> hey, over there! See that? <laughs> Being a jockey looks so fun! That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. They were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. Right. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zack. I think it's a little more complicated than that. Hey, it's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I mean, I guess it is. Kind of. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey, ever since we were kids even, 
can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? Again? Yeah. Again. Not one bit. We should probably head back to our rooms. Yeah, probably. Full disclosure? Didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously. Wow, find of the century. You never know. That intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancient's headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. <laughs> Good thing we let her go. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. Let's bring this one home.
victorious, but do we know if they've got a plan to stop Dio's champions in their tracks? No, they've got a plan. This mode, how many times have we got to go to the before he's more
Don't underestimate it. Time to stretch your stuff, baby. And I want to kill it. And the champions are you. The stadium is borrowed, and the world is black and blue. So let the fire on this again. And what the hell is with the death of the Tarkin Hat? You are quick. Oh, he's weak, eh? Why don't you have another dust? 
We cut them off. <laughs> Or should we rip them all? That, or smash them, maybe? <laughs> Let's fill them with lead. Don't bother. I'll just bite them off. <laughs> You're all so mean! So petty! Picking on a poor small business owner! But hell, I can take it, and I can give as good as I get. So, all of you can, kiss my ass! Yeah. Hi ho, my sewage stallion! To ensure a fair and entertaining bout, we'll give you a chance to rest before the festivities. Once you're ready, you need but say the word. Are you ready to duke it out? Fantastic! Then without further ado... <laughs> no one brings a hype like this! Scotch and Cats! Make some noise! Ready or not, it's time to rumble! Rumble now! Let's get it! <laughs> 
get him.
Hey, looking for the Robo Cat? Ellie ain't come through. We need to find him. From the start, it had to end this way, but it still stings. For a moment there, it felt like we were friends. I am so pissed at Kate right now. Probably laughing at us from his new office. How are you not mad? He played us for fools from the start. Just 
thinking about it makes me want to beat the crap out of him. Hey, are you okay? I'll be fine. Just thought I was a better judge of character. Forget him. So what's the plan then? We are not just gonna let him take the black materia, right? We're gonna go after him, right? And how are we supposed to do that without any leads? He's got a point. The only one who knows where the temple is is Kid Seth. <sighs> but he told the Turks, whose chopper I should be able to track. Really? I know which radio frequencies they use. The moment they get on comms, I'll find them. Well now, the old gal's got a transmitter. Ha! Then we're in business. All right, I'll run on ahead and get her warmed up for you. Later. It's settled then. We follow Shinra to the temple. And the Black Materia? the hours. The best way to make tracks is on Chocobac. Chocobo for red right here, folks. Our Passengers with reservation. Now then, There you are. Need that radio. Thing's practically an antique. Even better. <laughs> 